Hello everyone, today we will tell you about the cohort analysis for customer retention. Soy cohort is a group of subjects who share common characteristics in given time span. Cohort analysis deals with breaking data into related groups for easy and effective analysis. Cohort visualization is a great way to analyze customer retention for subscription-based businesses. We can analyze by grouping customers based on when they first subscribe to the service. The percentage of retention can be plotted for each of these cohorts across a varying time scale. Let us see how to create such a cohort. So for creating this cohort, you will need to have an access to the Zoho CRM database and the invoice table present in it. The invoice table will have all information needed for calculating customer retention, such as customer ID, date of subscription, etc. So step one is opening the invoice table present in your CRM analysis workspace. And step two, you will need to obtain information on the database of the first invoice for every customer. For this, you will have to create a query table. To create a query table, click on the new query table as shown in the video. The following is the query used for creating the customer's start date query table. So as you can see, the following query table is created. Next, you will need the time period for measuring the customer retention. For this, you have to join two tables, the customer start date and the invoice. The following is the query used for generating the associated invoice and recurring months intermediate query table. This is the resultant query table. Step 4. The penultimate step is the creation of the actual pivot table for the cohort. To create a pivot table, choose New Pivot View from the menu as shown in the video. Step 5. The following steps will guide you through it. Plus, drop the month column from Invoice and Recurring Months Query Table on the columns. Choose Actual D. Plus, drop the mean date column from invoice and recurring months query table under rows. Plus, drop invoice ID count from invoice and recurring months query table under data. So, plus, drop invoice ID count under data and choose percentage of difference from first value. Select base field to apply month column. Plus, add retention percentage formula under data as shown in the video. Select percentage data type. Now, remove unnecessary columns for visualization using show hide tool. Step 6. You can perform conditional formatting on your pivot table to highlight the high points and the low points in your customer retention analysis. Right-click on any column and choose conditional formatting and enter the required conditions and choose the required colors. The conditions used here are equal to 100, greater than 90, greater than 80, greater than 70, greater than 60, 50, 40, and then 30, and then 20. And last, so now you can see the final result. The about table serves as an efficient way of tracking your customer across a chosen time period. Thank you for watching this tutorial and if you're interested in any other Zoho Analytics tutorials for beginners or for experts, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification button so you don't miss any useful information that we share here. And if you want to order a personalized analytic report for your business, you can do that and book a free 30-minute consultation with one of our experts by the link down below in the description box. So you can get a comprehensive analytic report in one of the most popular business analytic tools for your company. And we also have a present for you. If you buy two analytic reports from our team, you get the third one completely for free.